please. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have a special guest which is my mother Hello Eliza Yeah, so today um, a lot of you want to ask her some questions Because many of you asked is, there, is this really my real mom? Because she always looks so young Thank you. Yeah, so today we're gonna answer on what black magic she uh, she uses to stay youthful. I use SK3. Three. three, yeah? Anything, if any point that you don't think her jokes are funny, just laugh. So, are you ready to give out your secrets on your youthfulness mm. and how you stay young for so long? This is obviously some sort of sorcery that we're talking about. Okay, question one mm. that they ask you. Are you single? Of course not. I am married. <laughs> uh, a lot of people ask, is my father my real father or my stepfather? <laughs> why? I don't know. Answer down in the comment section below. Why you so why some of you think that? Okay, question two. On a wholesome note first. Mm -hmm. How did you and Daddy meet and stay so sweet until today? <laughs> it's actually true. Ama. Basically because last time I actually used to learn singing, singing learning school. So apparently my Wait the, the school is called Singing Learning uh, no, Singing no, no, Learning no, 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 School. No, no. It's, 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 it's actually a shop. It's actually a shop whereby um there there are teachers there to teach singing. So I I, I was actually there and I so happened to meet my mother in law there and that's how I got to know um her son. So how do you all stay so sweet until today? I mean, of course, there's, there's bitterness. Like, I wouldn't say just sweet. Yeah. There's always like sweet, sweetness, bitterness. It, it, it's about... It's um, about what's that word Amma always use? I loon, I loon. I loon. I loon. In tran direct translation is, you need to... If your partner is irritating, you just keep quiet. Yeah. Yeah, correct. so then you you all won't fight. Yes. Correct. Question three. How old are you? This person say you're very hot. I am 48 this year. She does not look 48. I am 48 this year. I wonder if I'll actually look like this because I already look like I'm in my late 20s. That's what a lot of people say. After I remove my makeup, I guess I look 48. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Like my parents actually grew looking younger over the years. She said like when she was in school, everybody called Pui Milo. Fei Milo. Fei Milo. And, and not only that, not only that, um, they also call me uh, Pa Pai Pang. So sad. And also Miss Piggy. <laughs> <laughs> but after she met my father, like they actually he actually pushed her to exercise a lot. So she lost like a lot of weight. But but I really hate exercise. Do you think time. it's like a fear? That's why you exercise all the time? Mm, no, I think I would say that I get used to it. You know, after several years of exercising, so I get used to it, yeah. Okay, and that's me, I don't even, <laughs> I don't even work out that much. But I try to push myself to do it. But, you lazy pig, are but you? But I'm lazy, I'm just, I'm, I'm quite lazy, I can't lie, I'm not gonna lie, I'm lazy. Okay, commercial break, commercial break. I recently got a vacuum cleaner from Roborock, and my mother is super, super happy. This woman keeps asking me, can I open the vacuum <laughs> She loves to clean eh. she's no, no, passionate no, no, about no. it. Eh. It's not because I love to clean, it's because I do not have a helper and there's this person that is sitting right in front of you. Uh, she's very lazy, you know. My mother's super happy, one of the best things that I ever got. The best ever present. Actually, they gifted us the smartest robot vacuum cleaner, which is the Roborock S6 Max V. This is um, probably the smartest vacuum cleaner on the market at the moment. Roborock. <laughs> if you guys Rock are thinking, uh, this is the best present because technically you're helping out around the house. So they won't complain and say that you're useless. Your helper can do more things. Uh, instead so, of cleaning the floor, they can actually go clean the windows, you know. Exactly. <laughs> So it's Chinese New Year season and um, a lot of families are having visitors over. So after you have a very long and eventful day, you don't want to 
like clean up because it's very tiring. Mm. So this is the first vacuum equipped with lidar sensors and stereo cameras for better obstacle avoidance and a more accurate room mapping and navigation. So it has been trained on thousands of uh, real world images so it can actually detect obstacles. So for example like your pet's bowl, your cup on the floor or like your shoe. I don't know who has a shoe in the middle of the house but some people do. Like wires and everything this vacuum cleaner can actually detect and not, you know, go over it. So this cleaner is 25% more powerful than the normal Roborock S6. So this is 25% more powerful and it can even capture uh, fine dust on your floor and reach deeper into your carpets. So you heard about Roborock before? Yes. Like your friends use it and mm -hmm. stuff. Actually this uh, vacuum has actually extra piece of cloth that you can like attach on the bottom of the vacuum cleaner and then it can mop your floor mm. as well as vacuum vacuum so you can also set specific room schedules for your vacuum cleaner and mm. it also has um, audio it has camera so from the vacuum cleaner you can actually talk and if you want to clean like a specific room you can just press the room from the app itself and it will go to the room to mop that specific room you can tailor the water flow so that for example your carpets you don't want it to be wet, you don't want to mop your carpets, you can also do that. So Roborock is actually really really smart because you can control many things all in one app. And you can actually get uh, this vacuum cleaner on Shopee and Lazada, so I'll link everything in the description box below for you guys to check out. Uh, your mom is so pretty, what is her skincare routine or tips? And how did she maintain her look so well? I really say it's SK3 already. <laughs> Honestly, you, you okay. can go to her room, right? It's like full of skincare. There's uh, like a lot of skincare. I don't go for facial because my skin is very sensitive, so I don't go for facial. And I just basically just do my daily exercises. So I exercise like four to five times a week. Um, what I did was like I used to do like heat workout. I drink a lot of water. And I don't really sleep a lot. She doesn't drink alcohol. Too I don't much. go for aesthetic because I don't dare and I'm not willing <laughs> to spend. If someone could sponsor, maybe I'll consider. <laughs> I cleanse. I use SK2 and then I use a serum, a night cream, and as well as like my eye cream. If I'm not lazy, I'll just like scrub once a week and then mask once a week. She's not that lazy. Her skincare routine is like 20 steps. I couldn't keep up. Ah, sponsor, sponsor. Will you say you eat well also? Uh, no, I don't really eat well. I eat a lot, a lot of oh, rubbish. rubbish. Yeah, I, I eat a lot of like potato chips at times. Oh, she loves potato chips. Yeah, I like bread. She likes yeah. carby stuff. Yeah, correct. I like rice. I like noodles. What mm. was your dream job as a teenager? As stewardess. Really? What? Yo! I'm so short. <laughs> As to this. Because I like the, you know, their uniform. Until you realize you stopped growing. And I can see right? like very curvy. Maybe because I was fat. So I wanted to be an S student so that you know because if you can be an S student that means that you actually have the figure. It shows that you kind of reach like a body goal that you Yeah, are. correct, correct. That's interesting. Until you realize you stopped growing already. Yeah. Very sad. Yeah. Our oh, whole family is like 1.5 something. Even my grandmother. No, oh, I think Amma is less than 1.5. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm 1.5 I think Amma is like 1.48. You know, because when you grow older, you shrink. Mm. <laughs> so she's shrinking. <laughs> sorry, sorry Amma. Okay, so question 6. What do you think of Nicole's tattoos and how do you react when she got her first one? I was not looking forward to this question but I decided to put it in. No, because it was embarrassing. I, I thought you ever asked before? I was shocked. She wanted to murder me. Yeah, I, I was very, very angry. We were having lunch at like a cafe. Yes. And then she... And I was like, eh? I was so stupid. Why did I hide it properly? I don't even know. I said, eh? I was just like, hello, Nicole. What's that? And then she told me, it's a sticker. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. I said, you don't bluff me. Are you sure it's a sticker? I think it's a tattoo, right? And then it just ruined the whole lunch. <gasps> we were so unhappy. But it's okay, we after so one, angry. I know I've got many more. <laughs> then I kind of like uh, get used to it. Oh, you have another tattoo. Oh, okay. But I but I think the, the one with Ama Kong is quite sweet. Yeah, that's what you think. Uh. But it's sweet, why? Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, next. Let's skip this. Uh, question seven. What was the biggest struggle you faced when growing up? Me growing up? Yeah. The biggest struggle that I faced. Bye bye, Pang. Yeah. 
Yeah, I she's quite affected. I feel very inferior. And whenever, when I was in school, whenever I was like walking in front of um, like those guides, I would walk very fast. Because I'm so afraid that when they were behind me, they were kind of like, you know, talk about my figure. Who said? Yeah. So I would Putting. walk very fast. And then there was once, um, I was trying to walk very fast. This classmate, this guy classmate of mine, used another guy's hand to just slap into my butt. Seriously. And I wanted to run very fast, but, but because I was fat, then I, I walked very fast. But that's very so slow. mean. Do you report them? No, 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 I didn't. I didn't. That's terrible. That's like molesting someone. Yeah, but, but I know that they, they just did it for like fun. I feel that even if you think that doing it is just for fun, right? It's technically invading into someone's like private areas. You know what I mean? Mm -mm, yes, yes. And then um, not only that, usually whenever like I want to, you know, like walk to somewhere and if it's very narrow, I would be very, very extra careful because I'm just afraid that, you know, if I hit something, then people would think that, oh, you're so fat and that's why oh no. and that's why you hit onto this, you know. So I'll be very extra careful. But the more extra careful I want to be, the, the worse the situation is. La. It's so like screwed up how people like you, if they see that you can take an advantage of, right, and they just know that you won't complain or like say anything that they that they like touch your ass. It's gonna encourage their behavior, you know. Mm. And they're gonna do it to other people. Because I was there before, I fully understand that kind of feelings that some people may be facing, like you know, with weight and stuff. Yeah. Very inspirational. Okay. <laughs> you look like you're gonna cry. I feel so bad. <laughs> you you're very beautiful now. And you can look beautiful regardless of your weight. But don't let, uh, don't ever let people molest you. Don't don't give up in exercising if you want to start. Yes. Yeah. Or if you are starting, don't give up. But it's not just exercise, but uh, I think we also need to be very watchful over what we eat. 80% what you put in and 20% uh, on what you what you do. Yeah. Yes. Welcome to my mother's TED talk. Don't give up in exercising if you want to start. Yes. Yeah. Or if you are starting, don't give up. Have you always been good friends with Nicole's boyfriends? And is Noah your favourite? That's one of the questions. <laughs> I didn't ask this. Mm, favourite? I, I don't I don't show favouritism. That's good. Please don't. Yeah, I don't. Please don't. don't. Because it's Nicole's friend, because I love Nicole, so I have to love her friend so-called. But they get along quite well. Like Noah and my mom, they always we, we, we laugh the same jokes, like I would say. Yeah, they laugh at the same jokes. That would just be like, <laughs> yikes. Why is Nicole the only child? Did you want to have more kids? Oh no, you didn't have. You didn't want to have more kids. Yeah, because I was selfish. Because um, how would you say because, selfish? No, no, because I started exercise when I was like twenty one. So, so I gave birth to you and, and during that time I've been exercising already so mm -hmm. after when I gave birth to you I need to get back to my exercise again so it's like I was like thinking wow if, if I were to have another one and I have to start all over again you know the, that kind of routine kind of thing yeah yeah then I will put on again and after I have to put double effort to exercise again mm. only child as a kid it's quite boring. Yeah, thank god I have friends. Mm. If not, I'll be so lonely. But they, they got me a dog. They were like, you want a sibling or a dog? Yeah, I so, was like, so we, a gave, dog. we gave her a chihuahua. But if I said I wanted a sibling, what would you do? You still no, not I would still give you a dog. <laughs> Why did you even give me a choice when I technically don't even have a choice? But what age do you have me? That's what, yeah. 26? 26. Yeah, I gave birth Damn. to you at the age of 26. If it's me giving birth at 26, it's like four years from now. But I don't think I'm gonna get married so early. Yeah, I don't want you to. You never know. Yeah, true, that's true. Why do you allow Nicole to get plastic surgery? I put this in because it's funny. I didn't even get plastic surgery. No, no, no. I don't encourage. Yeah, I don't encourage, encourage. But I think she's big enough. She's already an adult. So. And she always does things without us knowing first. She doesn't seek out. But I didn't get plastic surgery. Termination. You got. We gotta get this straight. I did not get plastic surgery. Botox fillers. That's the eyelid concealer. No, huh? No. 
Because it's just stitching your eyelids, right? It's not like plastic, oh. it's not like rhinoplasty or whatever, or like okay. a boob job. Yeah, I've never gotten plastic surgery in my life. Just like, you know, Botox to slim my face, then like no threads that will disappear in like a year. Then oh, I so stitch my lids. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not technically not plastic surgery. I so see. Do you secretly wish Nicole had a normal job? Mm, Guys. No, actually I don't expect I don't expect anything from Nicole. This yeah. very sweet. I don't think you care so much about what we want you to do, right? I mean, I feel that only, I think the most important thing is that I am not taking money. I have like a, I have a stable income mm. and I don't think there's a problem with that anymore because I feel like my mom kind of trusts me. I would say that Nicole is a very disciplined person, so she's quite rational. And I will, so, they believe yeah. I'll be driven enough to work for myself. She yeah. doesn't like, uh, demand you know like kind of like money from us and things like that she does mm. her own thing she earns on her own so i mean honestly nicole's dad and i we don't really you know force her into doing something we always give her the freedom because we trust and she's very mindful of over what she's doing mm. um when i dropped out of school like i made sure that i know i proved to them that i wouldn't ask money from them anymore because you know coming out like dropping out of school is kind of like big step especially for like Parents, they'll be like, what, am I, what is my daughter going to do? And they'll be like kind of worried, right? Mm. So I tried to like, reassure them by working harder, in a sense. Have you ever been disappointed in me? Everybody will have disappointment uh, in... Yeah, in, in life. life. Yeah, but right. she's always disappointed if I don't clean my room. I, I'm used to it. <laughs> I can't name it. Uh. Thank God. Too many, uh, too many. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like, oh, cause it's not that bad. I, I think it all depends on how you look at it, but right? If you ask me, I mean, raising I, a I kid, obviously, remember. there's always gonna be some. I mean, disappointment in in someone. I think definitely there is, and it also depends on how you look at it, and then also yes, whether you you know keep it in you and always forever remember what that person did to you. Okay, what is the most touching thing that Nicole did? There was once she she made me very very angry. So. The next morning when I woke up, I saw a, a, a lunch box inside has got some spaghetti. She went to her friend's house to make spaghetti for me and she put that little note on top of the lunch box and says that, you know, mommy, I'm sorry, she apologized. And then, uh, you know, I've always wanted to, to make, to cook something for you. And this is, you know, this is something that I want to cook for you. So she, yeah. So, sweet. so I always keep that That's little sweet. note in my wallet. Ah, up to today. Uh, yes, but lately I cannot remember where. <laughs> Which <laughs> wallet is, is it? Where is that No, <laughs> It's okay. It's fine. It's, o it's okay. But I have a heart. What nonsense did Nicole do when she was young? Uh, you can tell me uh, about a kick story. But I think I ever talked before that one. Really, man? Yes, yes, yes. I ever talked before, yes. Okay, then can you think of something that's worse? You did a lot of nonsense, eh, I think. <laughs> like sneaking out of the house. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Sneaking out of the house, correct, correct. There was one night I was in the room watching, uh, you know, watching some shows. And, and then after that, I don't know why, something kind of like prompted me to go over to her room to check on her. So she said I mean, it was not the, really like check on her. She said but, it was the holy but ra spirit. But rather, I just want to you know like talk to her. And then when I went over, she she was not in the room. So I went to the toilet. I went through the whole house, and I couldn't find her. Uh, I I was so shocked and and devastated. Devastated. Yeah. You will use that word devastated. It's a strong word, you know. I I went to party. <laughs> yeah. So I caught her. And she could actually ask her friend to tell me that she's at her house, her friend's house. <laughs> it, was a, it was a hotel party and there were a lot of people. So I was oh, like, you still remember? Yeah, so I like very formal. I, I never go. Then after that, I couldn't go out like late at night. But all my friends were there. Then I'm like, how old were you that time? I was like... 11? 11? No oh, la! Secondary school, huh? 16, yeah. 15? How would I be primary school when I go to a hotel party? That's crazy, man. I think I, I feel like I was like 14 or 15. That's very young, actually, still. If my kid like that, right, I will lose it. I will lose it. A message you would say for your precious daughter. I didn't, I didn't call myself precious. The person said precious. Entirely according to the question. For you, uh? Yes, for me. 
你哥多狠呀！哎，乖乖，在我。That's why you always say every year. <laughs> My grandma also. Okay, love you. Yeah. Mm, love you. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you, Eliza. That's the last question. Yes. Oh, okay. She's very happy. She's going to play mahjong already. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Roborock, for sponsoring this video as well. Come on, My mother is very, very happy. She is a number one fan. Any new products, please send us, okay? Anyways, <laughs> we, we're very shameless there. Eh? <laughs> An aesthetic sponsor. <laughs> aesthetic I, sponsor. I need, I need to lift, lift, <laughs> you know, lift. Later, I will give you your commission <laughs> okay. for shooting this video with me. <laughs> thank you for watching. It's so hot already. Okay. okay thank, thank you for watching. You. We will see you in our next video. Thank Comment you. down below. Um, just, just flatter my mother in the comment section below. Like she needs it. Okay, bye! Thank you, bye-bye!